Welcome to Dragon Horde Gaming, and today we'll be opening a <clears throat> Kaldheim bundle. Garbage. Let's get this. We got this thing here. Middle Keldheim. Little supposed to be a poster, but it's, it's just a piece of paper. It's no poster. Right. I'm trying to get this thing opened up so I'm not gonna damage it. There we go. Got the... There, I'm going to pick up the camera. Got the Keldheim poster thing that's actually Wraps the box. We got our box right here. We got our ten booster packs. Potentially, maybe God packs. That'd be awesome. We got our promo reflections of Litjara. Cost five for generic and blue. As it enters, choose creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. And then this will probably be all the basic lands and foil, and this is the non-foil. But here's the, the big thing that people were wanting out of this. The Keldheim special die. You can see the colors and the filigree on there. But then the gold covers up most of that nice color. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. You can see where the paint is overlapping places where it shouldn't. Like, look at that 13. Alright. Hmm. Right on 13. That's not good. Well, let's see what we get in our packs. These will probably have the rares in the back, unlike the draft boosters. Yep. Here, let's get a closer look on these. All right, um, commons, not vold, slumber mound, mound, frost auger, oh, uh, boreal outrider, and a rare will be blood sky massacre. Costs three, a generic, a black, and a red. Stage one, create a two three red demon berserk creature token with menace. Stage two. Whenever a Berserker attacks this turn, you draw a card and lose one life. Stage 3. Add red for each Berserker you control until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Woodland Chasm and a foil. Glittering Frost. Alright. And a placeholder card. I don't think any of the sagas are really worth much of anything. Alright, we got a Divine Gambit. 
saw it coming. Basalt Ravager and a Cosmos Charger. Cost four through generic and a blue. Flash Flying. For Hellion cards from your hand, cost one less and can be done from on any player's turn. Foretell for three, two generic and a blue. Snow land and an elf warrior token. Frenzy Raider, Vengeful Reaper, Breton Guard Stronghold, and our rare is another Saga, Showdown of the Skulls. Stage 1, exile the top 4 cards of your library until end of your next turn. You may play those cards. Stage 2 and 3, whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. Highland Frost, Forest, and a Replicated Ring token. Speed, Trickster God's Heist, Blizzard Brawl, and our rare is Jorn, God of Winter. Costs three to generic and a green. Whenever he attacks, untap each snow permanent you control. Cauldron the Rhyme Staff costs three, generic a blue and a black. Tap, you may. Play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. Alright. Snow Island and the placeholder. Rune of Mortality, Rootless You, Selvala Ice Shaper, and the World Tree. Nice. This actually is a good rare here. It enters the battlefield tapped. Add tap to add green. As long as you control six or more lands, lands you control have. Tap to add one mana of any color. Pay two of each color. Tap, sacrifice the world tree, search your library for any number of god cards, put them into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Alright. We got ourselves an ice tunnel and a foil highland forest. And an elf warrior token. Alright. Rune of Sustenance, Finn the Fangbearer, Axe-Guard Armory, and our rare is Dream Devourer. Cost 2, a generic, and a black. Each non-land card in your hand without Fortell has Fortell. Its Fortell cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by 2. 
snow covered mountain and a foil ice tunnel. It's two foil, is it? Yeah, two foil snow dual lands and trash card instead of a token. Fearless Liberator, Three Seasons, Path to the World Tree, and the rare is Mythic, yeah, First Mythic, Burning Rune Demon, cost six for generic and two black, flying, when Burning Rune Demon enters the battlefield, you search your library for exactly two cards not named Burning Rune demon that have different names if you do reveal those cards and opponent chooses one of them put the chosen card in your hand and the other one into your graveyard then shuffle your library no island and a tyvar hell emblem watch my previous video that emblem is going to be going with Tyvar Kell. Although I think I may have pulled that emblem. Narfi Betrayer King and I think this might be our first uh, showcase stream. Spirit of Aldergar. Clarion Spirit, and our rare is Herald Unites the Elves. Cost four, two generic, a black and a green. Stage one, mill three cards. You put an elf or Tyvar card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each elf you control. Whenever an elf you control attacks this turn, target creature and opponent controls gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. And another replicated ring. An ice tunnel for the snow land. Alright, we've got one pack after this left. And then commons. Usher of the Fallen. Glimpse the Cosmos. Another showcase. Carter Doom Scourge. And our rare is another Jorn. God of Winter. This time it's the showcase version. Okay. Snow Island and a Zombie Berserker token. Alright. Last pack. Here we go. Usher of the Fallen. Mariette of the Frost. Glimpse the Cosmos, and our rare is Reckless Crew. Cost 4 through generic and red. Create X21 Red Dwarf Berserker Creature Tokens, where X is the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipment you control. For each of those tokens, you may attach an equipment you control to it. Snow Plains and the Treasure. I do actually really like that treasure token. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like, share, subscribe, comment, and for notifications, hit that bell icon. And good luck in your openings, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.